One of the more difficult due diligence steps is trying to rate the quality of the management of a company, investment trust, or a fund. It is quite easy to get stuck in a blizzard of stats, but I find that it comes down to asking yourself some key questions. Star fund managers usually build their reputation on specific market areas, so a sudden move into something outside their comfort zone is going to raise eyebrows and has to be watched carefully. Successful fund managers are often as good as the support they receive within an organisation. Being able to discuss ideas with colleagues, working to a signed off investment strategy or simply having experienced compliance and due diligence officers on hand can help cut out strategic mistakes. The ongoing saga surrounding Neil Woodford's funds is a good illustration of how individuals sometimes perform better as part of a team. This is a question that investors in companies will often be confronted with. There is a phenomenon where dominant managers often build an organisation that only they have the personality to run. Sir George Mathewson at Royal Bank of Scotland, CEO before Fred Goodwin, was a classic example of this and often the elements that made the organisation great do not survive a change of regime. Share prices often tend to languish when it becomes clear that there are major disagreements over strategy and direction. Always check that companies are able to fill their key positions and that managers stay in place for a decent length of time. We hope this is a useful introduction to thinking about how to assess company management visit the Interactive Investor website for a deeper explanation of each of these questions. Mm -hmm.